Welcome and back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today we're going to cover Revolve. What is Revolve, you may ask? Well, Revolve is very similar to what we would do with extruding along a line when we do a NURBS curve and what we did with the video where we extruded along a path. So it's very similar, except in this particular circumstance, we're going to extrude. Let's just do it. We're going to extrude along a a, a NURBS curve, but we're going to revolve. It's not really an extrusion, it's a revolve, but it's a type of extrusion, you could say, in a sense. All right, let's go to the front, and let's start making a curve. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm in the mood for a pimp chalice, so let's go ahead and do that. So what we're doing here is we're making a NURBS curve along the, what is it, the y-axis, and we are doing the halfway, half, half of it, half of the chalice, if you will. And what is going to happen is we're going to see a, a, an extrusion, a revolve around the entire y-axis. You'll see it here as we move along. Okay, so let's make a Flute, if you will. Boom. And then let's just do something out here. I mean, I could move it down. I could move it down a little bit. And then like that. And like that. And then we'll hit enter. And now we've got, we're halfway there to making a wonderful pimp chalice. Shall we do it? All right, so once you've made the NURBS curve, you hit enter at the end to uh, uh, commit, and then you go to surfaces, and well, let's take a look at the settings first. We want it on the y-axis. We want object, uh, surface cubic, sweeping 360 degrees around. Uh, some of these things we want to just keep default. We want polygons. Output geometry, always choose polygons, that's what we want. And we want quads, and that ought to do it. Because our tessellation, our tessellation should be standard fit. And everything else I would not mess with. You can always play around with settings. But just for this demonstration, we're going to keep most things default. Again, just keep in mind, quads and polygons is what we're looking for. And let us revolve. Okay, we revolved, and our image is black, okay, which isn't a bad thing. It just means that we are inverted. If you can see here, it's inverted it, and this happens quite a bit. In fact, a lot of folks, it almost looks like a um, one of those uh, roulette wheels, like a mini roulette wheel, uh, but what I can say is a lot of people will actually have issues with this. They'll say, why does this thing turn out, you know, all shaded and I need it to not be shaded? Well, very easy fix for this. Surfaces, sorry, yep, surfaces, not surfaces. Mm -hmm. Mesh display, let's go to reverse and we hit reverse and there we go. We've got our, our object. Um, I don't know if you could put a lot of um, what would you call it? Uh, pimp juice inside this pimp chalice. So you might want to adjust it a little bit. And you can do that very easily by adjusting the NURBS curve. Go to control vertex and you can start selecting vertices. Let me get close here so you can really see what's going on. Okay. So there's our chalice and if we want we can see it now notice how when we move it down it's adjusting so we're getting deeper here that thing in the middle we can move that down okay so we can start adjusting things as we wish we can get rid of stuff as we move on but ultimately you can what's really nice about doing a revolve is the NURBS curve is adjustable. In other words, we can take the control vertices and start 
you know, really changing the shape of what it is we're working on. Now, obviously, you can do wine glasses. You can do, I've seen chess pieces. I've seen lamps. Anything that has a symmetry around a revolve like that, like if you were putting it on a potter's wheel and uh, do the side of it, essentially just the halfway, and then just imagine it being revolved 360 along that axis. All right, put a nice little color to it. Let's add a nice new uh, material. Let's put a nice shiny fong on that for our pimp chalice. And uh, <laughs> it's a horrible pimp chalice. Uh, not encouraging pimp pimping. It's a bad thing. Um, but it is a cultural staple in some areas of America. So that could be really anything. It could be a candlestick holder as well. More of a candlestick holder, I think, uh, more than anything. All right, that'll do it for Maya 2018 Basics. Please join us next time for more wonderful basic Maya videos where your imagination can run wild.